And now, your first alert five weather. And welcome back everyone to News 5 at 430 on this Saturday, January 29th. We were just chatting in the newsroom. Can you believe it? January is almost over and with high pressure in firm control of the forecast, it's safe to say that we are done receiving any sort of snowfall here in the Springs of Pueblo for the next couple of days. So we'll come up pretty close to average. And in fact, this pretty much the first month with measurable snowfall in both areas, just a little bit back in the late 2021. And that was about it. The biggest single snow day of the month in the Springs and Pueblo happened on the first on New Year's Day. Right now in the springs, a far cry from the snowy conditions we saw at times last week. It's nice and mild this afternoon. 54 degrees with a little bit of daylight still left to go. We are just shy of the 60 degree mark. It's also very dry today in Pueblo. You might have noticed maybe you're using a little more lotion or you kept the humidifier a little bit uh, longer today on because of the dry conditions. Canyon City humidity here under 10% outside temperature still hovering in the lower 60s. We are dry here as high pressure builds in even as a weak disturbance is expected to move to our south of over the next 24 hours. This is that big bomb cyclone or nor'easter that Andy mentioned. Many areas in New England experiencing as much as one to two feet plus of snowfall. The good news for those residents, improving conditions expected by around Sunday morning. Now for us here in Southern Colorado, it is going to be a fantastic day of weather. Take a look at the forecast trends all the way into the middle to upper 50s in the Springs. Also expecting middle to upper 50s in Pueblo with wall to wall sunshine throughout the day on Sunday. Now we'll keep it nice on Monday, but by around Tuesday, we got a very cold Arctic blast of air that's going to spread southward. Not only is it going to get cold, we're also expecting a return to some snowy conditions. We've been talking about this since the middle of last week here on News 5, and this could be a pretty decent snowstorm in terms of coverage, and I think we'll start to see it in the mountains on Tuesday afternoon, likely moving into the springs and southern Colorado as we head towards Tuesday night. And notice the model keeps us pretty snowy throughout the day on Wednesday before we see some drier conditions heading into Wednesday night and Thursday morning. Now we're still quite a ways out, so keep in mind snowfall totals will change. These are longer range models I'm sharing with you, but they both advertise anywhere between about two to five inches of snowfall up and down the I-25 quarter. Notice the GFS or American model really shows some very healthy snow up there in the wets and sand grays. European similar idea, but not quite as robust with those snowfall totals. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that. Definitely a possibility that we get some beneficial moisture. The exact totals, well, we'll continue to iron out those details. Tonight, very cold into the San Luis Valley. The rest of us pretty close to average dropping down to the teens and 20s. Highs tomorrow, pretty similar to what we saw today. We're back into the 50s in the Springs and Pueblo. Take a look at the super seven day forecast. Warmer on Monday. And then take a look at Tuesday and Wednesday. That's when we usher in those big changes on Tuesday. We start to see some snowfall by the evening hours. It continues into Wednesday. Bitter cold as well with some dangerous travel conditions expected, not just locally, but statewide. Look at the high on Wednesday and Thursday only warming into the lower 20s. For Pueblo, we've got upper 50s and lower 60s. Tuesday to Wednesday temperatures crashing quickly. Look at Wednesday nights low all the way down to negative two. Canyon City, we go from mild sunshine to end January to some cold and snowy conditions for the start of February. Highs only in the 20s around Wednesday, Thursday. And for Woodland Park, we go from sunshine and snow melt to snow shoveling weather by around the middle of the week. And I saw Andy when I was talking about those lows. I looked over, he's going like this. Andy, you could be one of the uh, the weather uh, weather words. That put little up emojis on yeah, your, the guy, on the your weather forecast. Shaking. Yeah. You know what Wednesday get... is too, Alan? It is the most Bill Murray of all holidays, Groundhog Day on Wednesday. The you coldest know what? day of the, the week. I was going to put the emoji of the groundhog, <laughs> but I thought the snow sort of won out. But yes, yeah, Groundhog that, that, Day on Wednesday. That's a bigger deal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs>